Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to go over the list of top 25 best Kali Linux penetration testing tools. So starting off this list, at number 1, we have John the Ripper. So John the Ripper is a feature-rich penetration testing tool used as a password cracker. It is free, open-source tool used to crack passwords and audit overall system security. In essence, this tool combines numerous password cracking mods. Now, if you were to talk about some of the pros that we get with John the Ripper, then it is ideal for cracking multiple password types. It offers 20 plus different languages and it even has a pre-built proven package. Now quickly going over the cons of John the Ripper, then it takes a considerable amount of time to actually set it up and it needs modification to crack newer advanced hashes such as SHA-256 or the SHA-512. Anyways, at number 2, we have the Burp Suite. So Burp Suite is a set of web application penetration testing utilities. Moreover, it is an integrated platform with various tools that work hand in hand to help and detect and exploit vulnerabilities. Some pros that we get with Burp Suite include the comprehensive documentation that helps you understand its functionality, wide variety of vulnerability testing tools, it provides both manual and automated penetration testing, it performs quick attacks on websites and web applications to detect vulnerabilities. Quickly going over some of the cons of Burp Suite, then first of all it has a very poor windows support. Secondly, it has a premium version which are relatively quite expensive. Anyways, number 3 on our list we have the Nmap. It is an open source command line tool for network discovery and cyber security auditing. Nmap is used for network inventory and monitoring security flaws. Now this tool uses raw IP packets to determine the services in the host, firewalls, filters in place alongside numerous other network characteristics. Some of the pros that we get with Nmap include that it is a powerful tool for scanning hundreds of thousands of devices. It has a comprehensive documentation including tutorials and up-to-date pages. It has both traditional command line and graphical user interface versions to choose from. It is a free, full source code available for download. Now some of the cons of Nmap include that it has a steep learning curve, it has limited functionality on Windows and the scan actually takes a quite a long time. Anyways, number 4 on our list we have the responder. Now this tool scans IT infrastructure for any poison name services IDs and gathers credentials and hash values from the poison services IDs. Now with responder, you can use the NBT, NS and LLMNR to respond to specific NetBIOS queries. Some pros that we get with responder include that it can check localhost with specific DNS entry. It has an automatic DNS queries on selected networks. It uses LLMNR and NBT to send messages to networks and it also enables simple troubleshooting of issues. Talking about the cons of responder, then again it has a very steep learning curve and it is quite difficult to install and use. Anyways, number 5 on our list we have Linus. Now Linus is a security auditing tool for scanning system configuration. It is designed for Unix and GNU Linux systems and this tool performs scans and provides insights into your system security environment. Some pros that we get with Linus include that it has a comprehensive scanning capability which can help detect system misconfigurations and attack surfaces. It provides easy to understand audit reports and it can scan configuration files for related processes in common databases such as Redis, MySQL, PostgreSQL and even Oracle. Anyways, quickly going over some of the cons that we get with Linus and the first and the foremost is that it has a limited of maximum 2 audits per system each day and other than that, Implementing more functionalities makes the interface complicated to use. Number 6 on our list we have Metasploit. Now Metasploit is one of the most popular penetration testing tools thanks to its rich features and functionalities. Now this tool is handy for ethical hackers and human pen testers looking to exploit all possible attack systems on IT infrastructure. Metasploit has a massive database of exploits you can use to simulate real work malicious attacks on infrastructures. Some proofs that we get with Metasploit include the test vulnerabilities across a wide range of systems and databases. It integrates seamlessly with other penetration testing tools such as Nmap and you can leverage an extensive exploit database that increases daily. Other than that, let's quickly talk about the cons of Metasploit. The first and the foremost is that it does not support payloads written in other languages apart from Ruby. Now this is considered to be a great downfall of Metasploit. Other than this, it has a weaker performance on Windows compared to other systems like Linux. Number 7 on our list we have Multigo. Now Multigo is an OS in tool which actually stands for open source intelligence to gather network information. Now it is a penetration testing tool that helps you scrutinize the network for any vulnerability and single points of failure. Now some major pros of Multigo include that it gathers information for all security related tasks saving you a lot of time and it can access hidden information that's difficult to discover. It provides a visual demonstration of interconnection between various items in the network and it has an intuitive GUI for checking relationships easily. Some cons of Multigo include that it can be overwhelming for new users. 
and importing entities is quite complicated in Multigo. Other than that, it has a lot of complex features that make it difficult to use even for an advanced user. At number 8, we have Hydra. Now Hydra is a Kali Linux login and password cracker. This tool leverages multiple protocols to perform brute force attacks on system. The Hydra login cracker is parallelized, highly versatile and easy to integrate. Hydra comes installed on Linux and has both GUI and command line versions. Some pros of Hydra include that it has a wide range of brute forcing options. It has a wide variety of simple to use protocols and it can perform HTTP post form attacks for web applications. Talking about the cons of Hydra, it has an open source community version that has limited options. So that is considered to be a great downfall for Hydra. And it takes a lot of time to guess the username and the password combinations. At number 9, we have aircrack-ng. Now aircrack-ng is a suite of penetration tools for Wi-Fi security. Now these tools check how safe your Wi-Fi is and whether you have a secure password or not. Now aircrack-ng focuses on four main areas. Number 1 testing, monitoring, attacking and cracking. Quickly talking about the pros that we get with Aircrack NG, then it is most suitable Kali Linux penetration testing tool for cracking WEP encryptions. And it does not have a steep learning curve, it is quite easy to understand even in the command line interface. It has multiple versions for Linux, Unix and even for Mac OS. Some cons of Aircrack NG include that it does not have a graphical user interface and the initial installation process is quite overwhelming. At number 10, after that, at number 10 we have the Impacket scripts. This penetration testing tool that contains Python classes for network testing. Now this tool is written in Python and this pool is useful in constructing network protocols and comes with multiple tools to perform remote service execution. Now some of the pros that we get with Impacket script is that it is very easy to install, it has a lots of protocol available that make network testing easier, it provides a comprehensive testing guide and provides testers with a wide variety of options to execute network testing. However, some cons of the Impacket scripts include the poor performance on Windows compared to Linux and it requires quite a lot of Python knowledge to use it effectively. At number 11, we have the Traceroute. Now Traceroute is a penetration testing tool designed using the ICMP protocol at its core. It allows system admins to map how packets travel between the source and destination. This tool sends packets to a target machine and lists all devices it passes through. Some pros of the Traceroute include the advanced network tracing capabilities and it is ideal for testing internet connections, it locates the points of failure across each particular path and it maps the network hop seamlessly and provides round trip time which is RTT. Some cons of the Traceroute include that it does not display the historical data hence it is difficult to identify pattern and it can display incomplete data when the firewall blocks the ICMP request. At number 12, we have the WP scan. Now WP scan is a vulnerability assessment tool for scanning WordPress web engines. It helps you identify whether your WordPress setup is vulnerable to attacks. Basically, it scans for vulnerabilities in your theme files, plugins and core. Some proof that we get with WP scan is that it detects openly accessible database dumps. It is suitable for media file enumeration. It detects sensitive files such as robot.txt and readme.txt. It maps themes and plugins and detects possible vulnerabilities within them. Some cones of WP scan include that it does not have a GUI and it can be overwhelming to use outside of Kali Linux. Anyways, at number 13, we have Wireshark. Now, Wireshark is an open source network vulnerability analysis tool. It analyzes network protocols and packets that lets you see what is happening in your network environment. Now, Wireshark runs on all major operating systems including macOS, Linux, Fedora and Windows. Major pros of Wireshark include that it provides network traffic analysis at a granular level. It has a powerful T-Shark command line utility and it enables filtering, sorting and grouping of packets. Some cons of Wireshark include that it cannot exploit weaknesses in the isolated problem areas and it has difficulties reading encrypted traffic. Other than that, it has a poor UI UX experience. Now before moving to number 14, you should check out Infra SOS because with Infra SOS you can create Active Directory and Office 365 reports using the SAS user reporting and auditing tool which can in turn make sure that your users are secure. So the link to Infra SOS website is in the description box so make sure to check it out. Moving on to number 14 on our list we have the SQL map. So SQL map is an open source penetration testing tool for the automatic detection and exploitation of SQL injections. Now this tool has powerful detection engines and various tools for seamless penetration testing. It can fetch data from SQL based databases, access file systems and execute commands on the OS via out of the band connections. 
Major pros of SQL map include the automatic recognition of password hash formats, online password cracking, it can upload or download files to the database, and it can automatically determine the database schema. Major cons of SQL map include that it can generate a lot of false positives, and it requires users to confirm the vulnerabilities manually. Other than that, it lacks a graphical user interface. At number 15, we have Kismet. Now, Kismet is a wireless sniffing tool and network detector. Ethical hackers and penetration testers commonly use it for network scanning and intrusion detection. Now, this tool runs on all major operating systems such as Windows and Mac OS, but has a broader range of configurations and capabilities on Windows. Major pros of Kismet include that this tool is for wireless network identification. It helps identify misconfigured wireless networks and it can detect multiple packets simultaneously. Major cons of Kismet include that it requires other tools for a complete penetration testing and network searching is quite time-taking process. At number 16, we have Nikto. Now it checks against outdated server softwares and dangerous files and programs. You can also use Nikto to check configuration errors that could potentially lead to attacks. Nikto lets you discover websites or web servers information that you can exploit deeper. Major pros that you get with Nikto is that you can test for web server configuration errors. It helps establish the effectiveness of your intrusion detection system or IDS. It has full HTTP proxy support and it has templates for report customization. Major cons of Nikto include that it can generate a lot of false positives and it requires human intervention to validate the checks. At number 17, we have the Skip Fish. Skip Fish is an automated penetration testing tool for web applications. It is a powerful security tool that crawls and probes dictionary files based on applications, creating a sitemap. Through the sitemap, you can use the map to perform a wide range of security checks. Major pros of Skip Fish include that it has a RAD proxy style logic for spotting security problems. It can scan content management systems CMS such as WordPress and Joomla for vulnerabilities. It processes thousands of requests with low CPU and memory utilization and it supports more than 15 modules useful in penetration testing. Major cons of Skipfish include that it does not have an extensive database of known vulnerabilities for banner type checks and it may not work on all types of web applications. At number 18, we have Nisus. Now Nisus is a comprehensive vulnerability assessment and penetration testing tool. It performs scans on computer system and alerts you after discovering vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. Now, this tool runs more than 1200 checks on a system to identify weaknesses. Major pros of Nisus includes that it detects security weaknesses in both local and remote holes. It has an automatic detection of security patches and updates. It can perform simulated attacks to unveil the vulnerabilities. Some of the cones of Nisus, however, include that it has a limited integration with SIEM platforms such as Metasploit. It has reduced performance when testing large networks and it has limited functionality on the free version as well. At number 19, we have Beef or BEEF. Now, Beef stands for Browser Exploitation Framework. And this Beef is a penetration testing tool for scanning web browser. It allows users to assess the actual security posture of a target web browser by performing client side attack vectors. Basically, it examines potentially exploitable services beyond the network environment. Pros of Beef include that it has a powerful, straightforward API that provides efficiency. It is quite easy to set up and use and it integrates seamlessly with Metasploit. Other than that, it is ideal for intranet service exploitation. Major cons of Beef include that it requires professional pen testing knowledge and for the exploitation framework to work, each browser should have JavaScript enabled. At number 20, we have Yersinia. Now, Yersinia is used for exploiting weaknesses in network protocols. This tool can perform multiple types of attacks over different protocols. Yersinia has three main modules, which include NCurses, Network Client, and Command Line. You can use any one of the three modules to exploit network weaknesses before the attacker discovers them. Some of the major pros of Yersinia include that it has a friendly shell script integration. You can set up Yersinia in different network segments for easier network assessment. The NCurses GUI is robust and highly visual, and you can customize preferences in the configuration file as well. Major cons of Yersinia include that it does not work well seamlessly on Windows operating system, and it has limited documentation. At number 21, we have the NCrack. So, NCrack is a Kali Linux network penetration testing tool designed to help companies assess the security posture of devices such as host. It has a wide variety of features that enables complete network troubleshooting. And you can use NCrack for brute force attacks on passwords and SSH password cracking. Now, the major pros of NCrack include seamless interoperability between NCrack and NMAP. It adapts to the changing network feedback and can resume interrupted attacks. Major cons of NCrack include that it has a very slow password cracking process. It is a steep learning curve 
and it does not have a graphical user interface. At number 22, we have Kingfisher. Now Kingfisher is a Kali Linux penetration testing tool for social engineering attacks. It is an easy to use tool that simulates real world phishing attacks and enables you to detect security weaknesses within your team. It is an ideal tool for staff awareness and training. Major pros of Kingfisher include that it provides SMS alerts regarding email campaign status. It is a powerful system powered by Jinja 2 engine. It provides detailed graphs regarding the campaign's results and it has a powerful web cloning capabilities. Major cons of Kingfisher include the huge memory requirements and it is relatively slow and time consuming. At number 23, we have the Rainbow Crack. So Rainbow Crack is a penetration testing tool that uses rainbow tables to crack passwords from hash values. Basically, rainbow tables are pre-computed tables of reverse password hashes. These tables help crack the password in a database. They provide a quick way to crack passwords and gain unauthorized way to computer systems. Some major pros of Rainbow Crack include that it comes with both graphical user interface and command line interface, and it can run on almost all operating systems. It is quite faster than traditional password cracking methods. Some cones of Rainbow Crack include that it does not crack password if the hash is not the same in the table. And it has a huge RAM and storage requirement. At number 24, we have the Social Engineering Toolkit or SET. So the SET is used to perform social engineering attacks on staff to ensure that they are fully compliant with the organization's security policies. It has several custom attack vectors to trick humans and evaluate the level of human awareness in the organization. You can perform multiple attacks via email, phone, or SMS. Some pros of SET include the seamless integration with Metasploit framework and it helps detect actual points of weakness in your system. It is a graphical user interface and it has a console version as well. Major cons of SET include that it requires a high social engineering skill set to operate and achieve the desired results and it has limited attack vectors compared to similar tools like Beef. Anyways, last on our list, at number 25, we have the Fluxion. So Fluxion is used for wireless security auditing. This tool combines both social engineering and evil twin hacking to gain access to wireless systems and improve the overall security posture. It attempts to recover WPA or WPA2 keys for target networks by simulating man-in-the-middle attacks. Some major pros of Fluxion include that it does not require brute force to gain access, it does not require extensive penetration testing knowledge, it is quite easy to use, and it requires a lot less RAM as compared to other solutions available on the internet. However, some of the major cons of Fluxion include that it is easy to get detected and it requires user interaction which is not guaranteed. Anyways, that brings us to the end of our list and also to the end of our video. Now, if you still want to learn more about these penetration testing tools, then simply check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new with this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.